Hey, how you doing, folks? Welcome to Speak Your Mind. I'm Ron Savage, and uh, we're getting ready to go. We have Dr. Wright on tonight. Dr. Wright, and he's going to tell it how it is, folks. I'm telling you, it's going to be a great, great memorial weekend shoot off here. Great memorial weekend shoot off. You got it. You got to check it out. You must listen. And I promise you, I promise you, you're going to get a lot out of this. A lot out of this. Remember to call. It's 410-922-6680. That's 410-922-6680. So call up. I'll, I'm going to answer the phone. I'm going to answer the phone. So it's going to be a lot of fun. As a matter of fact, I'm opening the lines up right now. So here we go. We're going into the news first, and then we're going into... We have a good show, Mr. Savage. All right. Okay. Speak your mind, Ron Savage. On speak your mind. Who's this? Hello. Oh my God. Just because Jim Bunnick was a terrible campaigner and wasn't particularly liked by voters, there was a little bit of a state senator from Eastern Kentucky who almost. I asked for a CD if it ain't there. Whoops! <laughs> but it was 85. A massive manhunt continues for a wannabe cop killer overnight in Georgia. Police say Kondarius Chester opened fire and wounded two college park officers at a Red Snapper restaurant. More than 39 million Americans hitting the road this Memorial Day. How you doing, Mr. Savage? Hey, man, how's it going, man? Jesus, look at this guy. Uh, hey. The script's coming along. Derek, give you the good news? I didn't hear anything yet. We've been we've been sitting here with Dr. Wright. I didn't hear any. I, I would love them dining. I mean, I'll find out what's going on with uh, TV Tell Derek I asked him once. Well, uh, I want to find out what's going on with TV Free, too. Oh, TV okay. Free? Yeah, yeah, but tell the Derek we have like one more minute and I don't have a CD. Oh, I, I asked him about it. Who you see? I don't have it. I don't have it. <laughs> yeah, uh, are you live? Good. I feel yeah. great. I feel great. I lost 10 pounds. Look at oh, you. Wait a minute, this is commercial here. Oh, this is it. I'm not holding my stomach in anything. There it is. Yeah. Tom Graham. Oh, yeah. that's news. Yeah. That's what's up, dude. Coming along. I just walked out so they could get seven things. Cool. We'll be increasing. Oh, yeah, uh, so we're hanging out in here. Uh, the the yeah, right. Right. Yeah. Right. So the most yeah. 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 Sunday, yeah. mixed clouds and sun early on. The more clouds in the afternoon. The chance of a shower. Get up to 75. Looking for those better storms. Sunday night. You know what I'm going with this? Two stray showers and thunderstorms. I'm a four-hour memorial day. I'm Jeff Eno from the Weather Channel. We're talking radio 680 WCBI. That works. Baltimore really Fitness and Tennis for the USTA National Facility of the Year. What is a high-energy tennis academy for junior and adult players of all ages using UFT basic tennis skills, balance, eye training, footwork, and full range of motion taught by certified tennis pros can improve your level of life. I like just bitter. Oh, no, Pat, I'm just like a revolutionary. I'm just like a revolutionary. I'm just like a treadmill. Mike, as well as party over the floor. You'll call up now. This is great for the show. Begins. This is like this is like backstage stuff right now. It's like backstage stuff right now. So you go ahead, you freaking call up. We're gonna have a good time, all right? Let me let me write something. Who is this? Oh, and Mike Mike says this. He says I'm watching this because WCBM doesn't want to stream for me tonight. What are you talking about? If you if you're watching this, we're streaming for you. So what are you talking about? Get out of here. You don't. You're talking out of your your ass. Oh wait a minute. Josie Wells is here. Everybody Everybody load their freaking guns. Load your freaking guns because the outlaw Josie Wells is here. Oh, the phone. I better answer it. 800-834-VINNY. Or go to VinnyHasTheBuyers.com. WCBM, Ron Savage. Speak your mind. And who's calling in tonight? Radio Grammy Award winner, Ziggy Marley. Hey, and that, how you doing? His new cookbook and new movie about his dad, Bob Oh, my God. Sunday night at 8. 21st Century oh, Radio, Talk Radio 680 WCBM. The views and opinions hey, you hear on Talk Radio 680 uh, WCBM and WCBM.com okay. are not necessarily those of the owners, right, management, and players and advertisers of WCBM, but they should be. Speak Your Mind is sponsored by Derek Stroman and You're Stroman Entertainment. Tonight. Good. <laughs> Call it.
Can you get me wrong, Brett? This is <laughs> WCBM. Time now for Speak Your Mind. Here's your host, Derek Stroman and Jimmy Zane. Hey, welcome. Welcome, WCBM listeners. My name is Derek Stroman, and we're back at WCBM Studios for another great episode of Speak Your Mind. Uh, and tonight's guest is uh, Dr. Ron Wright. Welcome. Welcome to the station, Doctor. Good morning, Doctor. Thank you. It's good to, it's good to have you in the studio with us. And uh, I have so much to talk about. Uh, this is okay. uh, our episode number 48, and it's going to be a very intriguing one. Big time. With the county here, Baltimore County, that is, uh, is a pretty serious one. Um, and what I'd like for you to do, I know we have a lot that we'd like to discuss, but what I'd like for you to do is just introduce yourself uh, to our audience uh, and give them just a brief early description about what it is that you're going through uh, with Baltimore County right now. Okay. Uh, I have my doctorate in Christian education and a Ph.D. in uh, Christian counseling. I've pastored the Merritt Park Baptist Church for 41 years. I've worked in the community for with addictions uh, for 41 years. Retired from the Baltimore City Police Department, where I also worked in undercover narcotics. Um, what has happened with Baltimore County is that they they made an accusation that we were, had a zoning problem, and when in fact we did not. That there's a piece of property that they wanted from the church, and we've been fighting for seven years to, to keep that property. Uh, in return, what they did was send the fire marshal over, threatened to close the church, uh, sent a system deceased order to stop the program that we had for 40 years, uh, threatened me with fines, and uh, had the police come and ask cars to be moved when we were raising money for the kids' Christmas program. They weren't even parked on the property. They were out on the road. So for seven years, I have been facing not only Baltimore County, but uh, state agencies such as parole and probation, mm -hmm. uh, the Department of Health and Mental Hygiene, uh, Motor Vehicle Administration, and uh, some of the others who work for the state uh, that, that control the licensing and the promotion of programs. So, so what do you think the major drive, what is the goal? Of, of the uh, county and the state here uh, in, in, in not helping you towards your cause. I'm not understanding that. Well, I think what the problem was was that they, they were helping us. In fact, uh, under the uh, Ehrlich administration, our program was, was mentioned to be a model for the state of Maryland. Mm -hmm. The problem came in when we found out that one of the young ladies that was in our community was supposed to go to a treatment facility, and she went to work at a delegate's restaurant. He is now dead. He passed away. Okay. And she never did get the treatment that she needed. I called uh, parole and probation, and I asked them to look into th this particular case, and they did not like questions. Uh, it, it was at that point that everything changed in our relationship, and I knew the, a lot of these people for a lot of years. And then when I started looking at my records, I found out that uh, a lot of people who entered into our program who could not find treatment, that they were in the program only to enlist or enroll, and then they were the pro that they were their cases were closed out. So, uh, so explain this to me. This is what I'm trying to understand. It, it's somebody who's uh, not very familiar with the system. I'm pretty sure a lot of our listeners are, uh, and they they know right away what you're talking about. But for somebody who's never been in a in a situation like that, so uh, you, you know, I'm 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 just a regular guy on the street. I um you know have a couple drinks. Um, you know, obviously over the. Uh, the legal limit. Uh, I get pulled over. Um, I um, eventually have to go to court. They tell me uh, after my court date uh, or during my court date that I have to start or I have to enroll myself into this program. Okay, so, so from there I, I enroll myself into the program in which I'm pretty sure that costs, correct? Well, the, the programs do cost. Now, I had a state approved program for 35 years. Mm -hmm. What the state has now uh, uh, managed to do 
was they put alcohol education under level one treatment, which means anybody that gets their first DUI must now go to treatment. That was my big argument. I mm-hmm. said, these people do not need all of them to go to treatment. For their first DUI. For their first. Right. And, and what happened with that was that insurance companies would not pay for education, so they passed the law and put it under level one treatment. Now, if anybody goes to those certified programs, later in life, if they're ever asked were they in treatment, the answer is going to have to be yes, because if they have to produce paperwork, it's going to have treatment on the top of that from whatever agency they went to. And the state did not like that. I, I, I requested documents. One thing after another and all I was faced with was one retaliation after the other. They, they said I wasn't certified. They knew I didn't have to be certified. Mm-hmm. Uh, certified meant you, you were, you were uh, running a treatment program. They, they knew this because the, the state parole and probation were sending people to us weekly. And I kept saying to them, you need to change your policies because if you don't, something horrible is going to happen. And sure enough, there was a three-year-old girl that was killed on the beltway uh, around Glen Burnie. Wow. The girl that, that, that was a drunk driver, Very. the drunk driver also died, but I knew the drunk driver. We tried to find her treatment. There was no treatment. There was another young man in my class who was accused of stabbing a lady 34 times over in Anne Arundel County. She died. I have every record of every student for 40 years and could tell you that everyone that we dealt with did not get the treatment that they needed. And this young man, we begged them to find him treatment. We, we, we tried our best to get everybody involved in the program. Um, they, they saw our program as being one that was very helpful in the community mm-hmm. until and I asked for an audit. And they did possibly, I'm saying that they did the audit for parole and probation, I believe, but uh, somebody was retired or fired and uh, the individual person who was working that day, some of the agents called me, one sent me an email and said, we were there when we heard them say, if you leave quietly, Mm -hmm. we will destroy Dr. Wright Mm -hmm. and all of his program. Yep, yep. Is it your opinion then that once someone retired and somebody else was put to the case, that this um, newfound aggression from the state is simply personal animus from uh, one individual? Uh, well, I, I think that what happens is, is if the state would um, give immunity to all of the probation agents, and and what I did, I filed a federal lawsuit in court, in, in the federal courts. I even asked the federal judge to charge me or, or uh, make the motion that they charge me or clear my name. The state come running back with all these papers and it was denied. Then the other motion that I put in was that the the state re, uh, that the state uh, permit a grand jury investigation with indictments. And the state came back again and they vehemently did not want that to take place either. The so it's not going to prosecute itself either. Well, and the problem is, is that I've got documents that shows that I have tried to get the investigation moved outside of the state and sent into the Justice Department. I met with the Justice Department. They came to our church twice. I had two federal agents that came to the church, talked to me, and they, the question that they asked me was, we hope that you have a, a good alarm system. I said, we've got a good security system. law background. I'm sorry, your, your background as a police officer obviously helped you to have a, a good understanding of the workings of the state. I, I have to ask, and I don't mean to sound conspiratorial, do you think that you would be seeing this, this kind of aggression if yours was a secular institution and not a religious one? I, I think that in my situation, it could have been anywhere. It didn't have to be the church. It wrong been place, anywhere. wrong time. Mm-hmm. What, what I found out was if you ask the state something, they don't like to answer questions. And, and when I filed the federal lawsuit, before I filed it, I even sent an email to Kathleen Morris, who was the assistant to uh, the attorney general, and said to her, I'm out of my league with this lawsuit. I did it all myself. 
and I managed to hold on for about 10 months, and then they finally uh, denied uh, my, my complaint. But I said to her, I'm doing this so I will have a record down the road. Well, Dr. Wright, what, what I'd like to do is I, I'd like to bring in um, our, our panelists uh, from the central part of the United States that's over there in Chicago, Illinois. Her name is Annette Munich. Uh, can we bring Annette into the conversation? Annette, it, a publicist of a, a, a book company called uh, Stellion Books. Um, uh, I'd like to bring her in um, and, you know, join the conversation because, you know, what you're talking about, this is probably something that uh, goes on more than just in our, our great state of Maryland. Um, however, there's not many people that will, will take on a challenge uh, such as such as you have here yourself because you, you're see, you see you're meeting, uh, uh, you know, a lot of resistance. Um, you, you're, you're fighting some uh, some pretty powerful beings uh, and entities, and uh, you know you're actually going kind of toe to toe with them, and that's that's probably one of the big issues um, that's that you know they're having is you're asking questions that you're actually allowed to ask, and they they really don't know what to do uh, about the questions that you're asking because they really don't want to answer them in their, their its true entirety, you know. So, Annette, are you with us? Annette, come on on, babe. There you go. Annette, from the land of Lincoln. How are you doing? We have uh, Dr. Wright in the studio with us right now, and um, I'm pretty sure Hi, you... Doctor. Hello. Hello. Excuse me, P.O. Hey, Annette. And I just want to say real quick that I do commend what you're doing. But a simple fact, a lot of people really don't actually have the uh, know-how, the, you know, also the expertise. You have to know what you're doing to really thoroughly go up against what you're going up against. A lot of homework. You have, you have, you have, have to, to do your diligence. You have to. That is a must. Yeah, so we have to go to a break here. Uh, thank you for listening to the Speak Your Mind show. If you'd like to get in on the conversation, the number to call is 410 922 6680. We have Dr. Ron right in the studio with us right now. Uh, hang in there, and we'll be back right after these messages. A Whiter Shade of Pale. That's a good song, too. Hello, I'm Adam Kincaid, owner of Valor Roofing. For the past few months, you've heard me talk about Valor Roofing and our philosophy, honor, trust, and respect. Three core principles at the foundation of our business started decades ago by my father, a Vietnam War veteran, and to this day, to each and every one of our Unlike our and you do promote <laughs> fake offers or discounts just to get you to pay. Everything that I offer you is real and the honest truth. Right now, when you buy shingles for the front side of your roof, in return, I'll give you half off the shingles on the back side, plus a free upgrade to high-definition architectural shingles, style and affordability. And as always, for every square of roofing we replace, Valor will donate a dollar to What's Operation up, Second wife? Chance as I'm part of our Raise a Roof for a Vet campaign. Learn why thousands of homeowners... What's going on? A great show so far. Vet. Call up. 410-966-6680. Or visit ValorExteriors.com. Hi, it's Sean Casey. If you had your home previously listed and it didn't sell... And here's why it's so important to call my real estate agent, Vinny Steele, of Remax Components. The fact is, Vinny's homes are more likely to sell and not sit. Vinny sells homes nearly two times faster than the average agent, and for 5% more money on average. Vinny is so confident your home is going to sell, that if your home doesn't sell, he won't buy it at a price acceptable to you. That's right, guaranteed. Get this, Gail needed an outsize after all the kids had gone and moved out. She reached out to Vinny, managing his exclusive buyers and waiting system. Vinny was able to get 100% asking price and negotiated with the buyer so she could sell the property as is and not make any repairs. Don't just hire any realtor to negotiate away your equity with long lead times to sell. Vinny is waiting to hear from you. So call him today at 1-800-834-VINNY. 1-800-834-VINNY. Or go to VinnyHasTheBuyers.com. That's VinnyHasTheBuyers.com. Jen Huff here with Regional Pet.
Pest Management, your family-owned and operated local pest control company. With spring here, it's time to look out for termites. Termites can cause thousands of dollars in damage to your home. So make sure your home is protected by getting a termite treatment. We use Terminor, the world's best termiticide, and apply it using the latest technology, our Terminor LHB units. This new application allows us to apply the termiticide without disrupting your landscape. Contact us today for your free inspection and ask about our special offer. Did you know spring is also the time oh. to knock out the Next population song is, um, in your yard? Have our tick box another good song. home and property. Okay. Yeah, the tick problems, population you know, will be cut by as much as 80%. It not so only really protects your pets, but also too. your family. No, no that's not that, that Paul McCartney died thing. Family no. protect I was your like, family. Contact us today. They just do that. They just do that. Oh, you know? Who else is going to die? Who else is going to die? <laughs> they were like, rest in peace, Willie Nelson, fly high. I only she's not dead. <laughs> 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 Watch how I bring this in. Watch this. You're going to freaking love it. There's Ron being a fucking ham for the camera. You're going to love how I do this. Oh, I sure I always do. <laughs> There's everybody else. The missus is it. And to a gentleman that passed in memory of him, Greg Allman. Oh, yeah, he is. He's so sad. The missus is this. Okay. So, forward, like, Right. It looks really, like, it looks cool. I just don't know that I have the patience. I don't have it. Well, the best thing is, once you know the two basic pitches, you can just... No, it's good. TV and do it. Oh, yeah. And of course, I was My grandma does that. Hey. Hey, I tell you what, happy Memorial Weekend, everybody. This is one kickoff Memorial Show, man. I tell you, it's very powerful. I just going to say before we go into our, or our, continue on with our topic, I want to say to all of the uh, soldiers and people who fought for this country, who fought for, you know, us, I commend you. Salute. Amen. Amen. And we'll do it again on Veterans Day. <laughs> yes, we will, and that says so too. And that, and that is Chicago, and of course, our special guest is Dr. Ron Wright, and he's uncovering some things here that's going on right under, underneath the guys' noses out there, and, you know. And, and this this is stuff that you don't want to. <laughs> Because uh, all it's going to take yeah. is one of those incidents uh, to happen to you, and then you're going to be right in the middle of it. So uh, you're in the control room. A little bit of smoke start coming out. A little bit of smoke. Oh, oh. Oh. It's you. Yeah, I'm not trying to die. No, no, no. This is like the Jupiter too. There's always something like like that. 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 Like I see. It's teamwork. It's teamwork to the most extreme. Very good. Very good. Level one education. Expert in hospital. I wasn't even. Hospital who came in the
and it's a list of people who are going to be The people on that list pay money to the state to have their name on that list. And, and, and that's, that's number one. Then they have to, to deal with the, the alcohol and drug test, which many of them do not get, but yet they're billed for those. And when I say they're billed for those, that they're charged uh, for every drug and alcohol test we do. And if they don't pay it, they send the money over to collection, even though they, the state knows that, that the, the bill is, is, uh, is not good that the individual person who is an offender has no choice but to pay it or it's then attached to their state taxes and it goes out that way. They're not so the IRS would actually as come state, in, in our state, yeah. So, so as we as we know, everything pick, that the government has in, entangled themselves in picked, um, is prone to a couple, a incompetence, couple. graft, and corruption. In this case, one hand washes the other and they keep themselves in business. Oh, the phone. i got to answer the phone. So, if, if you were to speak out now, John Sachs, speak your mind. Uh, overhaul the system if it were up to Hey, Mike from Barker, how are you? More appropriate for the person who made a bad mistake that doesn't deserve to have their life ruined. The individual person that has made a mistake. Well, oh, there you are, Mike from Parkville. He or she has a proper evaluation. It will show oh, terrific. You signs of alcohol and uh, we want to talk about a couple words, Mike, no baby. Of any alcohol or abuse of alcohol or drugs. That individual person uh, can do community service work, get involved in an education program. Uh, our program. Oh, I, oh, I know, Mike. Really hey, Mike, I got to cut you off, but you're on you're number two, baby. I mean, you're you're the next caller. Actually, school hold on, boss. Uh, All right. Would, uh, get involved in the hold on, Mike. We'll put you on in a second over here. And, and the second offenders would uh, be matched with the first offender to mentor that person. So that they wouldn't get really a second or third DUI. Well, before you really go into that, so I just want to make sure it's um, clear with this because uh, uh, so maybe our listeners four. don't know how much money we're talking about here. But from, from my understanding, you're talking about uh, somewhere around six hundred similar dollars to be involved in this program, correct? Uh, it could be the thousands of dollars. Thousands. Of dollars. I'm told that it can be. Yeah, I'm, I'm told it can be up to ten thousand dollars for each and everything. I've heard it in a commercial on the radio. They tried to warn off people: don't drink and drive. Your first DUI will be cost you up to ten thousand. If I'm remembering correctly. See, what would also happen is that these individual people who are charged for these drug and alcohol tests are not getting them. If the state had to pay everybody back, you would be looking at millions. Of yeah, yeah. Yes. And that yes. was what we were talking about a little bit in the pre-show here, is how much money would actually be owed back to these people. Oh, yeah. yeah. A whole bunch. Trust me, he's a lot. From my observation, you're definitely onto something because there's so many different uh, programs that we can all have a big betrayal to uh, government waste. Well, the Attorney General, uh, Kathleen uh, Morris, I spoke to her, her and, and I said, give me a list of all of the free programs that people can go to. She okay. said there weren't any free programs. I'll tell you what, well, let's pick up after this commercial break. We have a caller, Mike in Parkville, hanging there. We'll be back right after these messages. So Rain opportunities will be increasing as we close down the weekend ahead of a cold front that will move through on Monday. Now we have got straight of scattered showers and storms out there as we run the temperature back to around 60. Sunday, mix of guy Mike from Park will come in. Shower. Sorry, I didn't. I didn't No, I, I, I didn't. No, no, I. Uh, I was looking at. I was looking at. I, I got involved. So what I did was I ran over a little bit because he's just such a yeah, right. Like right. once in a while, you can do that. I'll go once in a while. Then I'm, but I don't go like. This. But I'm glad when you say cut him. I read your list, cut him off. You and I only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, 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 I did. I did a safe secret signal. Only, only you and I know. Because he's turning like what is I talking? He's talking. Yeah, but it was it was a good. It was a good. Uh, 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 closer. Oh my God! Yeah, yeah, you're perfect, man. Plus you announced who's coming up. You gave people to me. He said, oh, you got also calling Mike from Parkville. Talk about. He's going to come back. 
Patrick the river and has ripped the people off. He's one of them. Oh, he didn't get tired. Oh, that's a great. Oh, it's going wildfire, man. Wildfire! Hey, Derek! He, he came in and didn't even come back to say hi. Hey, hey Derek! Hey, Derek! $9.99 a month plus applicable taxes. Join now for 10% off. Go to lifelock.com and enter promo code AWAY. That's promo code AWAY. Hey, Derek! Lifelock. More detection, more protection. Hey, it's Bruce Lee. You know the sales guys. Just gave me Oh, my God. What? For years. Right. I couldn't even tell. I'd toss on a turn. I'd hit me in the clock. I'd sweat under the pillow. It was miserable. Then I found my pillow and my sleep fell on my cluster. The next song that I'm going to bring back. Wait a minute. People, people are talking. Oh, oh that, 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 that strange man, uh, Justin Lee Andrews. And, uh, oh, Mr. Pee Pee Joy. Very good. Co-worker. Great guy. Love this guy. He's freaking great. But that Justin Andrews. He's, he's, Richie Sant. Join our right. Richie. 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 Yeah. A lot of friends of mine go back to the club days. They still, they, they, it's, it's terrific. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get Derek Strowman. That's okay. It's such a good show tonight with, with, with Dr. Roy. That man. Off the hook. We're doing, right now it's a commercial time. It's commercial time. So we're listening to commercial. But. In a couple seconds. One more commercial after this. A 30 second. 30 seconds. And uh, then we'll come in with, with the song. And the show. And Derek. Look, he's, 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 he's done. He doesn't. He doesn't even. He's, he should be coming in. Don't miss out. We handle all the communication. So you don't hey, have there. To. And usually it's not as bad as you think. Okay. For qualified people, we've reduced tax debt more than ninety percent. You know what? Don't go to Stay with a local yeah, guy. Strategic tax resolution. 443 367 9000 Ask for me, go ahead and tell it. 443-367-9000. Check out the time to explain when he goes to me. Yeah! <laughs> That's actually a good thing. Good thing. Maybe put it in different terms because doctors use those big words. Now, more of Speak Your Mind with Eric Strowman. I just feel like, uh, you know, I've just been, you know, awakened into something that, that I, I didn't really know what's going on because it doesn't really pertain to me so much. And I think that's what's happening to a lot of people out there. They're not uh, involved in it. And you kind of, you know, look the other way. You, you, it's not that much. It's crazy. It's crazy. Those people who are victims, uh, like uh, Mike and Parker, are really, um, really uh, are, are getting fresh in account of what, what they're doing. Uh, <laughs> sitting there on the stick. Larry Blum, and my mom hates him. Um, if you're going to um, to people, um, you know, t for yeah, taking this fight on, um, you know, you're, you're battling so much resistance. So, you know, it's just, it's just amazing. Uh, it's every state agency. I mean, it's, it's, it's battling the yeah, Attorney General's the office, the, mm -hmm. the Motor Vehicle Asia. Administration, the Health Department, parole and probation. And trying to reach the governor, who who is, is, yeah, is, is probably not privy to everything that's going okay, on, that because okay. you've got people in key positions who don't want that to be right. public it, 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 it just takes like away from. I mean, I, to, this is how I look at it. Just hearing you talk about it, and I can imagine this. This is what I imagine. Uh, a bank, okay? That's just just collecting money. You know, you're keeping the so money flowing. You don't right, want to stop. You don't want to see your money flow stop. Of course, not. you want to see that money just keep coming in. You almost yeah, you do. don't yes. even care where it's coming from. Right. As long as it keeps coming, it keeps coming in. Big pay, big pay. Right? Do you agree in that? I agree. Oh yeah. I think so. Why? Why? Why stop it? it is, you know, and and of, of course it's it's this this these kind of things. You know, they they say well, you, you pay the, the toll bridge taxes or, or the the, the, uh, the toll bridge fee. You know, it helps towards building roads and building bridges and 
uh, uh, schools, it goes into the school system, but yet you turn around, you turn on the news, and you know people are still complaining about uh, no AC in schools and uh, uh, schools uh, falling apart. Yeah, so I, I'm not understanding this. That's a lot of money, a lot of yeah. revenue it's every day. <laughs> which, which, which also some of the revenue which supposedly had been coming from the casinos to go towards the uh, school funding. What happened? What happened? To the politicians, if you're listening, what happened? Can you please ask the question? What happened? Let's bring in Mike and Park Let's hear his side. Hey, man, Mike, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Good, how are you? 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 And his the big issues were uh, put my arm criminal justice so and juvenile crime. You know, and you would not believe the dismissive mess and the roadblock <laughs> that are put up like in the treatment program to get even higher positive results. I leaned up because I, I kind of like insisted the accident. Yeah, and sorry, to, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, bottom line. Uh, unfortunately, that, that is the case, and you know, as much as we like to dance around it, and um, somebody like Dr. Wright, Mike, he's not dancing around it. He knows that, and that's, that's the issue that they're having with him. He offers a uh, free program, right? It's been free for 40 years. We do everything we can do. We get smack in my face, like down there. Tell me to chew on ice. When I asked Kathleen Morris from the Attorney General's office, we were the free programs we were at, and we were the free programs we were at, and we were the free programs we were at. And to give you a list. She said, we have your free program. Yeah. And I said, well, I mean, where's the money going? Right. <laughs> and I didn't get an answer. So um, the people who really need treatment aren't getting the treatment. Um, that's why there's such a high rate of crime continuing as, as it is in the city and it's dying all over. And what happens when you drop a case because you have an overload and the judge says, they and need to be in treatment, to and that agent lies yeah, and says exactly. they're in compliance. And they when they're not coming to a program, signing in, and, and walking out, never coming back again, that is not following the court order. And, and that's why if they say a month to go to probation, they don't do it. Like, like, I'm looking at the picture here. Looks like two Baltimore County patrol cars, and it looks like a great all over there uh, in front of them in, in, did they, what, what happened? You were explaining right. to me about this. What happened in this picture? I'm going to show it to my, my Facebook audience there. But what, what happened? That they sent, up one more time. Yeah, there it is. That's right the front there. door. I can see that. Leaving the front door of our church. Of and what happened on a, in an afternoon, that caterpillar drove across the church property and was parked in the location. Someone where named Brian there. Gritz. I don't know who that, that is. County. I called the state for oh, three oh. days. And but Brian and Gritz just shared this video. Calls. So this I is put a good stuff. This is on. good. <laughs> That's a good one. You the caterpillar. You everybody, everybody came. Everybody. There was white hats. There was everybody. The police officer asked me. He said, uh, "What right do you have to put a for a sale sign?" I said, "You told us it was our problem, and perhaps it was an epiphany from God that uh, it be sold and the money given to the children in the neighborhood." And that's just how we, we did it. I wonder, you mentioned, it, um, Ms. Morris clearly has the ear of the governor. To, is that an in for you to possibly have a friend in high places? I, I would like for anybody that could get the governor's ear to just take a look at the real facts instead of hearing one side of a report from, from probation and parole and from all these agencies because the story that I have is so documented, mm -hmm. completely documented. Yeah, let's I'm take a sure look at that some of the documents here. So. We, we have a wide right. listenership, and there's a possibility that someone is being um, urged or has a set of skills that would be helpful to you. If someone were to be able to help you, how would they contact you, sir? They can call me at area code 410 288 1399. And what I would like to try to do that's important for me because I've got four grandchildren and two two sons is that I tried to get my name cleared. That's all. When, when they sent that system to cease order to close that church program down and did not retract it and did not enforce it, they were telling everybody that man's a criminal and he's running a criminal enterprise and they knew it was a lie and that's what they told everybody uh, when, when they went to court and everything. This man doesn't know what he's talking about. He's, he's, he's just 
got a scan going. No, they're maligning I, you, but they're also maligning the church. Has there been an attempt on their part to revoke the church's 501c3 status, no, or is this just a no, personal attack on you? No, it, it's, it, the, it, it's, a, it's an attack on the church as well as me, because that, that caterpillar that came across there was the first indication that they wanted to take part of the church property and we didn't give it to them. Good then, for you. then the system deceased order, we ignored that. I begged them to lock me up. I begged them to find me because I take a jury trial mm. and they ignored that. Everything I tried to do to clear my name, they refused to do it because they don't think that anybody is going to come after them or touch them. And I would only like to say, till the day that I die, I will be on them no matter how long it takes. It's been seven years now. If it's another seven years, I wow. will be there every single day to do that. Amen. Amen. Now, I have a question for you. This is Dustin Gritz. Um, I just wanted to ask uh, for somebody, say, uh, on their way home from a show gets a DUI, what would be your suggestion uh, for the first steps? Well, the first thing that I would suggest that they do is, is personally, I think they should take the breath test if it's asked. And, mm -hmm. and Even it, on the road? even on the road, because if you don't take it, there are sanctions that they're going to put against you. If you do take it and you score high, that they are going to do what they can to help you keep your license. The next thing, I would get a evaluation to find out if there's any sign of any alcohol issues or problems. And if they are, with me, what we do, our program is free. Okay. I charge $75 for an evaluation. Wow, that's very reasonable. But that money goes back into our little memorial garden that we have because we bury all of the wow. addicts in Maryland that die for free. Wow. So everything goes back. Every penny goes right back in the neighborhood, in the community. And uh, I've got... Yeah, I've got sorry. I think, thank you so much for that. That's your, great. Your services. You, you know, Doctor, it does make sense that we pivot back because the, the root of this problem is obviously that the, the lives of young people and, and every Marylander are affected by tragedies that befall the, the state when whenever because everybody is affected by drunk driving and the media obviously wants to paint it as the fault of the alcohol every time i hear on the news uh, there was an accident and alcohol was involved they try and pillory alcohol as if a person can't drive with one beer in them have you but, ever tried to drive drunk it's very difficult i've had no personal experience <laughs> doctor while we have time do you have any words for young people just uh, wisdom to help them avoid this, how to know if you've had too much, I, I, when to call somebody, and how not to be embarrassed. And, and a two-part question, and do you agree, because we were having this conversation <laughs> on a, uh, a, an earlier show, do you think that alcoholism is a disease and is treatable? Because that's, a, that's a, a major thing for people. Some pe And I think maybe that's some of the, sh the strictness that the state is taking on on these uh, drunk drivers. I think it may have something to do with those theories. I, I think that, yes, alcoholism is a disease, and, and it can be, as everybody has said to me, manageable. You're never cured from it. Yes. You're always in recovery. Um, yes. Yes, the, the individual people that have a DUI uh, or that's going out to party, um, Ubers out there, mm. uh, if you get a designated driver, I found that some of them last for a while, and they take a drink or two, and they may get themselves in trouble. Goodness. It's cheaper to take a cab. It's cheaper to, to take Uber. I had one gentleman that actually took a limousine when he went out on the weekends because he said his first DUI cost him as much as he could have got a limousine weekly, wow. and that's what he started doing. And it could save lives. And it can save mm -hmm. lives. Of course. And, and now, with people who are alcoholics, in your estimation, what is the recidivism rate of, uh, of DUI offenders? I can only say to you from the research that I have, and, and I keep a uh, accurate record of every student that I have, I am now into the fourth generation of some families, mm -hmm. and some of the people that I deal with uh, had three, four DUIs. One had 10 DUIs, wow. and, and none of them actually are receiving the help that they need. And if I can, for just a moment, sure, I, have absolutely. A, uh, I, I have a paper here where this will show that our program was, was state approved. Mm -hmm. okay? I see that. Now, I think the, I have a copy of that as Yeah, well. there is. And, and the other thing is, is that when you start looking at documents, here's a letter from parole and probation from Joseph Clocker that says we've been doing a program for 
35 years, yeah. and we're not a treatment program. <laughs> Idiot. Then if you start looking at emails that he sent and others sent, Unbelievable. I'll let you know, this is to the health department, I'll let you know when he misrepresents himself again. Everything that I tried to do that was right uh, came back where it just is, doesn't make a difference. They think that they are untouchable, and if somebody just can get yep. somebody and turn it over to the Justice Department, it'll work. There's a, a, a lot of names on these documents, and obviously, yep. and, and Annette, please, uh, I want you to follow up with what I'm getting ready to say, uh, Annette. Um, there's a lot of names on these documents, and I'm not going to mention any of them on, on the air here, but um, there are some numbers, some figures here that I'm looking at uh, that, that are uh, astonishing as far as I'm concerned, that um, uh, it seems like... Um, they're they're really trying to keep you quiet, huh? They're offering you uh, money to just just to kind of uh, you know shut you up and, 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 and you know because lack of a better way of, of saying that. Well, if the right person <laughs> hears the right key, right, a yeah. statement, then that could spark absolutely you know, the, the wrong type of investigation that they don't want. This to was asked to me just uh, a few weeks ago. A gentleman came to me at a community meeting and asked me if I would take a grant. And he said it would be about $250,000. Wow. I thought, this is free. Wow. He said, but here's what you got to do. you got to leave the state alone. Two minutes. My response, to him, my response to him was, I'm not interested. And doesn't that sound like a bribe to me? That, yeah, that's typical. That, that, that's illegal. That, that's that a be, bribe. To me, that's, 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 that would be a typical approach. I, I think I think that he meant good, but when he said I had to leave the state alone, I knew that they were in it some way. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, the state is deeply involved in money laundering. Money is their is their only motive. Of course. Touch the money, and yeah. you're going to upset them. And of course, anyway. the, the hideous truth behind it is that they always hide behind protection programs. we got to keep the kids Ain't from smoking American. and drinking. Yeah. And when, yeah. when, when, Ain't that American. When, when they, and I was at a meeting at Mothers Against Drunk Drivers, those poor parents were there that lost children. I listened to the people from the county say, we're doing all this, we're giving them this, we're doing that. Look, and later to find out that they lied to the parents that, mm. that whose kids died, that these people are walking, driving now, and we're talking about thousands of people. It's absurd. That makes my unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. Well, what were you going to say in that? I mean, I come from a place where there is a lot of corruption too, but in Chicago, in Chicago, Chicago come on, get Right, right, absolutely. But you know, some of the things that we do here, and um, one of the things I wanted to say is that I've lived in several different states, and you don't really know when you go from one state to another what is the same kind of laws as where you came from and what is different. You find that out kind of along the way. But a few things here, like I heard him mention somebody getting 10 DUIs. You won't get 10 DUIs here. You won't have a license anymore after. I think when you hit three, they yank it forever, if I'm not mistaken. Well, we got to go to a commercial break. Thank you again for listening to the Speak Your Mind show. Uh, if you want to get in on the conversation, the number to call is 410-922-6680, and we will be right back. Hi, this is Sean Casey, and if you want to sell your home, I want to tell you about my realtor, Vinny Steele of Remax Components. Vinny's rank is one of the top realtors in the greater Baltimore area and surrounding communities, as seen in the Wall Street Journal. Vinny and his team sold over 250 homes last year. The average agent sells about six homes per year. What that means to you is Vinny has more resources, so your home will be exposed to buyers by using his exclusive home buyer system. That's how Vinny sells faster and for more money. In fact, Vinny sells homes nearly twice as fast and for 5% more money than the average agent. He'll even guarantee that if your house doesn't sell, he'll buy it at a price acceptable to you. Guaranteed. So call Vinny Steele today at 1-800-834-VINNY. That's 1-800-834-VINNY. 1-800-834-VINNY. Or go to vinnyhasthebuyers.com. 
That's Vinny has the buyers.com. Hello, I'm Adam Kincaid, owner of Valor Roofing. For the past few months, you've heard me talk about Valor Roofing and our philosophy, honor, trust, and respect. Three core principles at the foundation of our business started decades ago by my father, a Vietnam War veteran, and to this day, delivered to each and every one of our customers. Unlike our competitors, you'll never hear me promote fake offers or discounts just to get you to call. Everything that I offer you is real and the honest truth. Right now, when you buy shingles for the front side of your roof, in return, I'll give you half off the shingles on the back side, plus a free upgrade to high-definition architectural shingles, style and affordability. And as always, for every square of roofing we replace, Valor will donate a dollar to Operation Second Chance as part of our Raise a Roof for a Vet campaign. Learn why thousands of homeowners trust, respect, and hire Valor. We provide superior craftsmanship using only the finest materials available. Call Valor Roofing for a free estimate today. 443-302-6370 or visit Valor Exteriors. Is that the Eagles, the Eagles already gone? To That's going to be coming in, and uh, this is terrific. This is terrific. Remember, 410-922-6680. Let me write that down because some of you people that just don't understand how to use a phone. Now more of Speak Your Mind with Derek Stroman and Jimmy Zane on Talk Radio 680 WCBM. Well, welcome back, everybody, and thanks for staying with us at this late hour. Um, again, we have Dr. Wright in the studio with us, Dr. Ron Wright, that is. And uh, before we continue uh, uh, the, the closing of this particular episode, I just want to give a shout out to uh, our sponsor of ours, Sterling Liquors, located in Dundalk, Maryland. That's 1205. Dundalk, Maryland, uh, Merritt Boulevard, and German Hill Road. You can't miss it. Great, great prices, friendly environment, clean, a uh, nice place to visit. So if you mention my name or the fact that you listen to the Speak Your Mind show, uh, they will offer you 5% off of any liquor and um, wine. That is liquor and wine, not beer, liquor and wine. You will be offered... 5% off of any purchase of liquor and wine if you mention the Speak Your Mind show. That's okay? a great plug. To, so, yeah. I'm going to do that. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. So let, let's carry on, uh, Dr. Wright. Um, I'd like to continue with uh, pretty much where we left off and, and just, just, you know, <laughs> touch our audience and enlighten our audience with some things that they just have to know. During this short uh, show, we have to try to get as much information out there. I think one of the things, if I could reach out to the parents of, of young people, yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. because what happens is when they are under the um, power of parole probation, they are told if they do not pay for the treatment, yes. they're going back to jail. I know many parents have given every dime they had, and they still wanted more. So I would suggest if they're 18 years of age, that the parents do not sign any documents. Let them go and try to get the state insurance if possible. But we all love our children. I, I, I sent my, my son to prison for two years for dealing heroin, and it was the hardest thing in my life. But, but I, I work with the addicted population, and I know that these people that are coming in, they're trying to get help. They can't find help. Uh, when we try to do something good for them, it's somebody in the state that's got to come back with opinions that, that creates more problems for the person before they even come in. When I asked motor vehicles for a, a freedom of information, they requested that I pay them $30,500. $30,500. For a FOIA request? Yes. And, 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 and uh, I've sent them to parole and probation. I've sent them to Baltimore County. They will not even give me the contract for the treatment programs because they don't want anyone to know what's going on. So if there's an attorney out there that can help these people get their money back, especially those that have spent $655 in, in paid cash and money should be back to them, that, 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 that the people are going to be able to get their money back. They were just talking about that, actually. And a couple dollars here, a couple dollars here, that sounds like a lot of money. 
because the I don't know that, that it, it is adds up and it, it, it adds yeah, up to so. And the other thing is I have a number of affidavits from students. And here's an affidavit here where the young man wasn't, uh, uh, he, he says that uh, I've been on probation for two years. My probation officer has extended me for another six months. And uh, he doesn't get the treatment that he needs. He doesn't get the help that he needs. This is uh, a whole long list of thousands, thousands of people. Wow. That did not get WCBM, the help. Ron Savage, speak your mind. And, and the state knows tonight. it, the FBI knows it when they come down. They need it. Hey, look, it looks like we have a call here. Let's go and bring him in. Like we, uh, we only have a couple minutes here, Ron. So, uh, Bob in Baltimore, you are going to have to be pretty quick with Hello, whatever Bob. it is that's Hello, on Bob. your mind. Uh, can we bring in Bob, please? Welcome, Bob. Bob. Uh, now, Bob's right here. There go, Bobby. Well, you're going to have to be quick with it, okay? Yes, I'd like to say this to Dr. Wright. Sure. Uh, if he needs legal help, he may consider Judicial Watch. They have helped many people across the nation battle at the federal level. Pat McDonough has engaged them uh, a time back in what he was doing. You know, he's on WCBM earlier, a state delegate. And uh, they may be able to help him. Their motto is no one is above the law, and they're a strong, strong group when it comes to fighting and exposing official corruption. Indeed they are. Thank, Thank you, Bob. We learned a lot of good things about them as well. And if we do have any other lawyers in the audience that could be able to help, I'm sure Dr. Wright would be able to open his availability of affidavits and depositions to you. Anything that can help. Hey, thanks Dr. For the call, Wright, Bob. final word. Well, I would just like to thank you for having me here. And if there's anybody in the listening audience that needs a speaker about uh, public safety, give me a call at 410-288-1399. And for all of those who are church-going folks out there, uh, we'd just like to ask you to keep everybody in prayer, especially the addicted population and their families. They really need a lot of prayer and help from everyone. And these were my opinions today and not the church's opinions. Sure. And if they can do anything to help the fellow man, that would be a wonderful thing. Yeah. Thank, thank you so much. Amen. Absolutely. Really quick, I would recommend at this point to try and get help and get some attention to this outside of the state of Maryland and shame them into taking a look at what's really going on. It's a great idea, and that yeah, that is actually a really, really good point, Annette. And thank you for sharing that with us. Any ideas on how to do that? If anybody could call and let me know, I would be more than happy to to, to follow through with anything. Well, we're going to get you back on the show, so I uh, look for oh yeah turn uh, to WCBM in our Speak Your Mind show. Uh, it's been a it's been a phenomenal show. I mean, I, I thank everybody: Dustin Gritz, uh, P. O. Gutter, uh, Michael Dalton, of course, super producer. Bada bang. <laughs> Dr. Wright, and of course, uh, the silent uh, camera. Uh, yeah. Dog Television was also in the studio with us tonight. Yeah. Uh, Scott and um, my, myself, Derek Stroman. You all have a wonderful weekend. Be safe. Happy Memorial Day. And we will see you next weekend. No Take care. And driving. Good night. Stay connected with stimulating talk Woo, and breaking news that was on Talk close. Radio 680 WCBM, Baltimore, and WCBM.com. <laughs> Fox News Radio, I'm Tom Graham. President Trump Tell arriving us. back at the White House just after the news comes on no matter what. Days overseas. At the top of the hour. Hold on, so I got situated so it comes out. That's what's it. Trip, a hard break, 59 50, no matter what, you got to go. I'm telling people, roll. I'll give you, I'll, I'll, I'll start off a whole minute before you say goodbyes, you know. Everybody say goodbye, you know, give a kiss, goodbye, I say that. How many times? I say goodbye. So a whole minute, that's it. That's going to be fine. And that's the end of the show. This is a very powerful show. It's very good. So I'm going to have some pictures coming up about, you know, Dr. Wright and uh, uh, me and all of us, and it's going to be great. Thank you so much for listening to Speak Your Mind with Ron Savage and the rest of the crew. And uh, I want you to always listen every Saturday night at 12 o'clock. I want to go ahead and, and roll, roll. I'm going to spin the, you know, the, the film so you can watch it live. So go ahead, take it easy, have a good night, and uh, happy Memorial Weekend. Um, I want to say happy Memorial Day to all our veterans and our veterans in our hearts that aren't with us anymore. Happy Memorial Weekend. God bless. God bless America.